You can't just put any speaker with any amp. Sometimes they don't work very well together. So today I'm gonna to talk about some of my favorite amps from affordable up to a little bit more expensive and which speakers sound the best with those amps because you don't want to get it wrong. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee and let's talk about Synergy. Back in there, back in there, back. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and liking this video. I do this for a living, so the more subscribers I get, the more manufacturers are willing to send in products. So thank you so much for watching. Let's start off with the newer amp. Our good friend, the Fozzy Audio BT-20A Pro has Bluetooth, even though I don't have the Bluetooth antenna hooked up, because I don't like to use this for Bluetooth. Anyway, this comes in at $100, $99.99. However, there usually is a coupon Except for today, 466 four and a half star ratings. That's pretty good considering this has only been out for probably less than two months. So a lot of people have bought this, a lot of people like this. This has the 3255 amp chipset in it and it has tone controls, which makes it a little bit easier to pair with a multitude of speakers. Even though it has tone controls, they have a detent though at 12 o'clock. Even though it has tone controls, it's still a little bit punchier, a little bit heftier on the bottom than even the Fozzy Audio V3. This sounds kind of like the A08 Pro from Aima and the A07 Pro Plus. I forget all the model numbers. So I feel like this is pretty neutral, maybe a little extra heft on the bottom, which is good, especially for these little cheap Class D amplifiers. So which speakers pair well the best with the BT-20A Pro, in my opinion? Huge thank you to today's sponsor, Skillshare. Have you ever wanted to learn something new, but you don't know where to go? Well, that's where Skillshare comes into play. With Skillshare, you can learn just about anything you want. Graphic design, crafts, finance, drawing, animation, health and wellness, marketing. But my favorite, cooking, specifically, how to make donuts. That's right. You can learn how to make donuts on Skillshare. I never would have dreamed that I would be doing YouTube for a living, but I had to learn a bunch of stuff about cameras and lighting and editing. If I had had access to Skillshare, well, things would have gone much smoother than they are right now. I can always learn more about editing. I can always learn more about filming. I can always learn more about cooking. But most importantly, I can always learn ways to be more efficient with my time. You wanna create a side gig, a side hustle, because traditional jobs aren't one size fits all. And traditional jobs don't always fulfill us on every level. I took the class 21 Days of Purposeful Productivity, Forming Habits for Long-Term Goals from Mike D. He's a productivity coach. It sounds like one of the Beastie Boys, Mike D. This class breaks it down super easily so that you can actually implement it. You may know that Skillshare already has classes on film editing, illustration, and stuff like that, but did you know that Skillshare also has hundreds of career-focused classes too? So right now is a great time to level up your skill set and your job. Or if you wanna explore something else, create an income stream, have a little bit more financial stability because you opened up an Etsy store, then Skillshare can help with that too. So right now, the first thousand people to click on the link below get a free one-month membership to Skillshare. Invest in yourself, develop new skills with Skillshare. Well, one of my favorite speakers ever, the Sony SSCS5, which is coming in at a head-scratchingly high $198 number right now. $198. Mm, no. Don't buy them at $198. We have Prime Day coming up July 11th and 12th. I imagine that they're gonna go down to at least 125, and maybe they'll go below 100 bucks one of those days. In the past, that's what I have seen. But the Sony SSCS5 is a great speaker to pair with the BT-20A. The Sony's not really light on anything. It can be a bit forward in the upper mid-range when you have them beamed right at you. Move those tweeters up or down cut down some of that harshness at times, but I wouldn't consider this speaker a harsh speaker. Out of the box, for most people not doing a crossover mod, because most people probably won't do a crossover mod, I think the Sony SSCS5 is a great thing to pair with the Fazio Auto BT-20A. Also with the stock power supply, it's gonna drive the Sony's just fine. And by the way, the Sony SSCS5 has 8,750 four and a half star ratings. 
not too shabby. The Yamo S803, that's a five and a quarter inch woofer, one inch soft dome tweeter. You can buy them by themselves. However, it's cheaper actually just to get them in the five speaker home theater pack. That's $147. These by themselves are, well, it's $140, Never mind. So they're currently on a little bit of a sale right now. They have a sensitivity of 87 dB, which isn't too terrible. So they would also play very well with the BT-20A Pro. These have been accused of being a little hot on top as well. But with tone controls, you can tame that down a bit. I always thought these were pretty decent on the bottom end. However, the roll-off is 57 hertz. They have a subwoofer. That's not really a big deal. But 57 hertz is low enough for most people that are buying something like this. They're probably looking at more affordable speakers. If anything, you may need to turn down the bass a little bit because these, I think, are a little bumped around 80 to 100 hertz. But I think that's a great combo. The ELAC BS41, they are coming in right now at $134. Some of these speakers are going to make multiple appearances on this video because, well, they're good speakers. This one, however, requires a little bit more juice. I think you can get away with it if you get the stock power supply, the 32 volt. If you can get the 36 volt, if you can get the 48 volt power supply, it's gonna be much easier to drive the ELAC BS41s. These speakers, the BS41s, they don't list the sensitivity and they don't list the nominal impedance on the Amazon listing. When I got them in the box, there is a spec sheet that tells you. I can't remember that spec sheet off the top of my head. What I do remember though, is these little speakers, they're not very easy to drive. So they require a little bit more juice to get the most out of them. They're still gonna work with this because I've used them as, actually they're right here. I've been using these as kind of my desktop speaker reference speakers. And I've been running them off of everything and they always maintain their tonality or their sonic signature. But I have heard the BS41s on really juicy, powerful amps and they do sound better. They sound good but they sound better with more power. And finally, one of my favorite speakers of all time, the Emotiva B1 Plus. This thing is an awesome speaker and they got restocked. I didn't think they were gonna come back in stock, but they got restocked and they're holding their $279 price, which makes this speaker an absolute steal. Efficiency of 86 dB, nominal impedance eight ohms. This. The Fuzzy Audio BT-20A Pro will drive them just fine. Another hiccup that people have sometimes with the Emotiva B1 Plus is they're a little bit hot on top at times if you have them towed in directly at you. Towed in directly at you means you just have the speaker facing directly at you. If you tow them out, it calms down that treble a little bit. I don't really mind it. I kind of like it. I like the clarity. Very clear. This has a bit of a veil through the mid-range in comparison to the Fuzzy Audio V3 that just came out. With the clarity on the B1 Plus, I think it's a match made in heaven with the Fazio BT-20A Pro. The Yamaha AS301 integrated amplifier puts out 60 watts, $350. It's a great traditional rack sized amplifier, class AB, as a DAC, as a phono stage. Sounds incredibly clean if not a little bit thin though. However, it has variable loudness control, which takes care of a lot of thinness. And it also has tone controls if you wanna dial things in just right. Out of the box though, flat, flat. I think one of the best speakers that you can pair with the AS301 is another Emotiva, and that's the B2 Plus. The B2 Plus has a more full mid-range, maybe a little bit veiled compared to the B1 Plus. I actually like the mid-range better than the B1 Plus. I like both those speakers. I think the B2 Plus is a better partner with the AS301 from Yamaha when it's in its flat position. You can continue to mess around with the tone controls and the variable loudness control to get things to sound kind of the way you want. But these two would be a match made in heaven. Heaven. The B2 Plus come in at an efficiency of 86 dB and they have a nominal impedance of four ohms. So this speaker, a little bit harder to drive than the B1 Plus. The Polk ES15, they're coming in at $300 a pair and I do not think that's on sale. So sometimes these will go down in price. They have a sensitivity of 85 dB, pretty low, but an eight ohm impedance, which means a little bit easier to drive. 
Go all the way down to 44 hertz, up to 40,000 hertz. I like this speaker because it doesn't sound typically like a lot of speakers in its same price range. This is a little bit warmer. A speaker you can listen to all day without even messing around with the tone controls. But with the clarity focus of the AS301, I think it pairs very well with the ES15s and hits really low. If you want to step up, then you can also look at the R200s. The Polk R200s come in at $749 a pair retail. Now they're not on sale right now. I think they were just on sale. That speaker has a sensitivity of 86 dB. Goes down to 51 hertz all the way up to 38,000 hertz and really punches hard. So if you've got the budget for the R200s, I think it would pair very well with the AS301. But what if you don't have the budget for the R200s? Then you can go back to the BS41s from ELAC if you're not going to use any tone controls or variable loudness. The Fazi Audio V3. It's the one everyone's hyping up. We're hyping it all. All the YouTubers are hyping this up. It's actually terrible, but we're hyping it up. Just kidding. It's one of the best Class D amplifiers, if not the best Class D amplifiers. Under $100, under $200, probably under $300 that I have ever heard. With the caveat that you understand there is not a lot of oomph on the bottom from a Sonics standpoint. It's clean though. One of the cleanest amplifiers that I've heard. This plays up there with the A11 Tribute from Rotel. Reminds me of the Vidar even. Vidar 1. Reminds me of the PA3 from Topping, except it doesn't have the low end punch that the PA3 has. So we have to compensate a little bit if you're not gonna use a subwoofer with this with a little bit of gumption on the bottom end. So we come back to the ELAC B2 Plus. Keep in mind also that you can upgrade the power supply. I think you can get a version of this that has the 48 volt five amp power supply. And that's what I would recommend if you're gonna buy this. At the 32 or 36 volt that I think that comes with it, you can drive something like the ES15, but I think you're gonna be able to drive the B2 Plus to its fullest potential if you have the 48 volt five amp power supply. Another great pairing with this would be the PSB Imagine XB speakers, which happen to still be on sale for $400. They have a sensitivity of 90 dB, so perfect for an amp like this. Eight ohm nominal impedance, 90 dB. Perfect. If you can't afford that, drop down the ELAC BS41. Very focused on the bottom end, so it's going to pair very well with this amplifier. I cannot believe the PSB Imagine XB are actually cheaper than the PSB Alpha P5. I love that speaker. Aima T9 Pro. Love it. Sounds awesome. Looks a little weird, but it's confident in itself, so it can look weird. This is a pretty neutral amplifier. Doesn't put out a mm, ton of power though. Claims 100 watts times two into four ohm load. Let's just half that. Let's say 50 watts times two into a four ohm load. Let's say 40, 30 watts into an eight ohm load. So you're gonna want something that has a little bit, a little higher sensitivity if you want to run them really loud. But if you're getting this, just assume that you're not gonna be listening to over 85 dB, which is still pretty loud. This amplifier here plays comfortably, probably 75 dB as far as loudness goes. Has actually a pretty neutral sound signature, also has tone controls. So you can kind of dial this in how you want to. The cool thing about this amplifier is it has a fully functioning DAC in it, which includes coax, optical, USB. And it also has an auxiliary output. So if you want something like a subwoofer, you can connect to it. Also has a remote control. So for $179, this is actually a very capable unit if you pair it with the right speakers. Nothing really new here. B2 Plus from Emotiva. It's gonna be great pairing with it. Keep in mind though, it's a low sensitive speaker and a low impedance speaker, but since it's low impedance, you're getting more power out of this thing. PSB Imagine XB are gonna play better. Now you can't upgrade this power supply either. So you're going up to 32 volts is the max, which is gonna eke out the most power out of this thing. It's a Texas Instruments chip. I'm not sure exactly which one it is though. Sounds very good. So if you wanna listen loud, the PSBs, you can do the R200s as well. If, unless you're thinking about upgrading later, I probably wanna pair the R200s with this. If you wanna keep this an affordable setup, 
I look at something like the Sony SSCS 5s again. B1 Plus from Emotiva. Yamo S803s. Elac BS41, eh, probably not with this thing. And then another good option would be the JBL Stage A130, which is a very neutral speaker. So you might want to play around a little bit with tone controls on that. Oh, another speaker that I didn't mention is the Elac B5.2 the second generation debut series coming in at $199 right now which is a steal for those speakers it has a sensitivity of 86 db not great but an impedance of 6 ohms that speaker would probably pair with just about anything here with the exception of maybe the Fuzzy Audio V3 because you don't have tone controls. But it's a great speaker at a great price. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. If you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon. Patreon.com slash Cheap Man. Every Sunday night we have Patreon-only Zooms, Patreon-only Discord, Patreon-only Facebook group. You can also use the links in the description to buy any of these products that I talked about. Most of those links are affiliate links, which means if you click any buy, I get a commission, but it doesn't cost you any more, so it's a great way to support the channel. You can also sign up for Tidal, Rune, or Amazon Music. Links in the description. You get a free trial and you can quit whenever you want. But even if you do, I still get a couple of dollars. You can also put a tip in the tip jar, buy me a cup of coffee, but don't feel compelled to buy me anything. So, don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge it, listen, maybe through one of these awesome products with some awesome new speakers that pair well synergy with them just great and fill your soul with happiness and with that i'm randy i'm the chief audio man <laughs>